Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry I have been MIA lately, but it has been so busy over the holidays, but I am back to share with you guys this really cute and simple textured sweater nail tutorial. So I'll go over the products that I used in today's video. So I'm using a no wipe gel matte top coat. You can use a shiny one or whatever you prefer, but I just like a matte one and it's Luxa Matte. A cuticle pusher to scoop your clear acrylic, which is Young Nails. A detail brush of some kind. A lint-free pad with some isopropyl alcohol. And a palette to put your gel polish on. Okay, so this nail has two coats of gel polish by Gelish. It's called It's a Lily. And I did top coat with Luxa Matte no wipe top coat. So I'm just starting with my design. I'd like to start in the center so my design has some kind of balance to it. I'm making these kind of like circle chain type things so it looks like a knitted sweater. And please don't mind my stained nails. I did a project earlier so that's why they're a little stained. Okay, so once you're done with the first part of your design, pick up some acrylic and sprinkle it on top of the uncured gel. Make sure you're getting enough acrylic to cover the design and all those like nooks and crannies so we can give you that textured look. I do everything, especially with um, the gel and the acrylic, I do these in sections because as you guys know, gel polish starts to self-level. And if I was to try to tackle this whole nail the whole design at one time and then do the acrylic your shapes everything is going to start kind of changing so this is why I do it that way I do kind of the center first add my acrylic dust off the excess or tap off the excess and then cure and then this is when I'm going to wipe off with alcohol clean you know all that acrylic off and then go ahead and start into the second part of my design Now once you're done with the last part of your design, just clean off the leftover acrylic that's on the nail, have your client wash their hands or use alcohol, and you are finished. You can top coat if you want. Uh, I don't like doing it because it takes away from the textured look. It kind of fills all those spaces in and you don't really have too much of a texture. So I keep it like this. Um, Hope you guys like this. Feel free, play around, do different designs. You can do the little X's or even get more intricate with it. There's so many things you can do with this kind of technique with the acrylic and the gel. So have fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.